most annoying part of building a gaming PC is cable management. I'm gonna show you how to do it the quick and easy way, just don't tell this guy. All you're gonna need is a few zip ties and something to cut them with. We're actually gonna start at the front of the case, and what you wanna make sure you do is push all the cables towards the back side of the case. Now, if your GPU has an extra cable that's dangling here, one thing you can do is make sure you put it behind the other cable and then pull a zip tie really tight to hide it so it kinda looks more just like one cable, and then push it back into its hole as far as it'll go. Now, once we have the front looking clean, we can turn it around and work on the back. Now, this is easier if you use a modular power supply, but we had to save money on this build, so we have some extra cords. But the first thing we're gonna do is take these cords that are running down the middle. And what we wanna do is don't pull them too hard because you don't wanna mess anything up, but we do wanna kind of take them to the side so that they're not dangling behind these holes that are visible. If you have one cord that's being problematic, you, like I'm having this one, you may have to zip tie it down first and pull it tight and get it out of the way. If you have a cord that's crisscrossed that's getting on your nerves, you can always unplug it and turn it back around. But if you don't wanna do that, just group all these together and put another zip tie through this little hook that's on the back and zip tie the cords down. Just try to make them like as flat as possible so the back panel will go back on easier. Now, if you have some cables running up here, you may or may not have a hook here. If you don't, you may have to use another zip tie. And then I'll pull the CPU cable, any other cables that have extra slack over here to the right side, you guessed it, another zip tie. Again, make sure these are as flat as possible so the back panel doesn't have any trouble going on. So once you have these two lanes run right here, the next thing you're gonna do is take all the extra cables and shove it up under the power supply basement. Then take your knife or pair of scissors and cut the excess off. Now you're ready to install Windows, so tag Dan Cam you know to see if he approves.